Holy cow, I think the CBA team just won the Manhattan Invite. I gotta get him for an interview. Is this even working? Where are they? Is that them over there? Huh? I hope this camera works. I heard they love Chipotle. Oh, are they at Chipotle? I need to get them for this interview. Welcome to Run Junkie. Here, what's up guys? I'm Billy. You're watching Run Junkie presented by New Balance. Wait one minute. Get out of here. Supposedly Yosemite Sam over there told me that he knew CBA and FM were gonna win the Manhattan invite. He's crazy. What's that old fart? No. Anyways, CBA, he's right though. CBA did win, guys. And the girls' side, FM girls won. They scored 34 points with a 32 second spread. That's unreal. That's literally unreal. Kaylin Tui though, she won that race. She's only in ninth grade, but she only beat Lydia Oliveri by one second. 14, 12, 14, 13. Great showdown. I got to watch it at the finish line. On the guys' side, of course, my boy going to Q's next year, Noah Affolder. He had a little bit of a PR, pretty good for him, but he ran 12-10 to win the Manhattan Invite Boys Eastern Elite Stage race. What's next round? I don't know. We'll Welcome to one of the tallest buildings in the world, Empire State Building. Someone else has been really big on the national scene this year, London Colbreth. She's only a freshman and she's killing it. She wins again in her meet in Texas. She won by over 15 seconds. Good job, London. What's next? Let's go find out. Here we are in the heart of New York City, Times Square, but we're gonna go to Utah to talk about the region meets that happened this weekend. What happened? American Fork, of course. They got that one, two, three punch. Casey Klinger, McKay's John, Patrick Parker, one, two, three. They won their meet. But you gotta remember, the Davis guys and girls also dominated winning their meet. Next, let's head to Central Park to see what's going on. Woo! Here we are, Central Park, riding my bike through on the beautiful day. We're gonna talk about that A6 Clovis invite. Here we go, my buddy over here, the horse, says what's up. But what happened there? Great Oaks, they finally showed up, killing Dana Hills and Claremont, two nationally ranked teams. But we can't forget about the individuals as your boy Louis Louis G killed it, beat Mike Verneau. This is Mike Verneau's second big defeat in the last couple weeks. Louis G won Woodbridge, beat Cooper Tier. Now he beat Mike Verneau, two of the top top guys in the country. What's next for Louis G? I cannot wait to see. Another thing we got to show you on Run Junkie, Rowan Estraw, he dove at the end of his race, did not get the win, but it was epic enough to make Run Junkie. Check it out. <laughs> Here's the play at the plate, and safe is the call. Oh my, Atlanta? Never thought I'd find green grass in New York City, but I did, Central Park, you know where. Look what else I found. Found a couple toads here, green toads. You know who else rocks green really well is Caitlin Hart, Lindsey Payne. They killed it, they always finishing one, two. Again, they did it again this weekend. Name a better dynamic duo. Manhattan was a blast. Visiting New York City was also wicked awesome. But that wraps up our mile split month long marathon. I'm heading back to Austin, Texas, but I will be flying to the Utah State meet. Coming up real quick here, we'll be covering that full coverage, videos, pictures, articles, anything you want to see. So make sure you tune in to milesplit.com to get all the info you need. Wait a minute, is that the guy from Chicago Fire? I love that show. Oh yeah, one more thing. How could I forget? Gotta give a shout out to Mama App Folder. She came up to me at the meet the other day and told me she watches all my videos even if Noah's not in them. Meant a lot to me. Thanks for the love. Well, see you next time. Bye!